What's up party people? G5 Productions in the place to be, rocking out the gold package at Old Bethany. And today I'm gonna be setting up this, this, and featuring this. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Gerald, excited to share with you all once again. I'm just gonna get into it, so I'm gonna set up everything and then take you on a walking tour. But the feature and the highlight for this video is the EcoFlow River Max, and I'm excited to use it today. And I'm also going to incorporate another feature, which is the Elto Stealth, but it's really focused at the EcoFlow River Max. So let's get everything all set up and then I'll take you on a tour of the entire setup when it's all done. Smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and to keep up with all these videos all you got to do is rock that bell all right. Set up so far I just kind of pre-stage everything by systems of stuff just so I could work a little bit more efficiently because this is a pretty big and complex setup I got my up lights out in numerical sequence now as far as all the bags and cases everything is going to go underneath this table stuff I don't need is in this subwoofer bag stuff I may potentially have to grab is over there in that subwoofer bag two sets of subwoofer top and mini kit to set up. And the plan with those is to put one system right here on this plug and to be symmetric over on the other side. So here's the DDJ. I got the Elto Stealth. I got other potential cables I may use. And I always take advantage of charging the um, Freedom Sticks. And I got my Moss Black Pack with the essentials I need for DJing with my laptop and iPad. What I plan to do is put one speaker down on the end and what that'll do is during dinner and reception, it'll cover the back end of this venue a little bit better. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but outside the building for cocktail hour, which is taking place on this nice patio. Although there's power available right here, I'm gonna power the speaker that's in here with the EcoFlow River Max. If that speaker dies, it won't be a problem because I will have some main front of house speakers up there. Worst case scenario, I'll just lose sound back here, but the one outside for the cocktail hour will definitely be plugged in. So let's finish the setup and get things going. Now I did put these lights on blue on purpose so that way I could see where the lights are because it is daytime hours right now and if I put this on white they might not be as visible but this is where all the up lights are. Everything is controlled wireless, so for the purposes of this video, I did select, you know, the teal color right there. But here's what's going on with the wired audio from the DDJ. It's a single wire. It is set up for mono. It goes across the floor here into the subwoofer and through the subwoofer pack into that speaker. Now, out of the back of that speaker, another cable comes out and it continues to run right across to the next subwoofer and through that subwoofer, it goes up to the top speaker and the cable right here is for videographer. They always ask me for a line out. So I just gave it to them out the back of the speaker and there's their setup. Uh, what I may do is just fix that a little bit with some Velcro just to make that look a little bit neater. Uh, but other than that, that concludes the wired setup for today. I did reroute the other XLR cable from the DDJ right into the back of it and it comes into the Alto Stealth here. It's on channel 219. So this is transmitting on 219 and the speaker that's inside and outside are both receiving on channel 219. This is where cocktail hour is going to take place. Both the receiver and the speaker are plugged in right there. Very convenient. So I did have to lower the stand more than normal. But other than that, it's a pretty good setup, pretty reliable. And both the speaker that's here and the one inside are delayed at 75 feet because that's about approximately, approximately, approximately far the distance is from the DJ station inside to right here. It is verified that this is receiving on channel 219 and uh, I can just go ahead now and turn this speaker down for the moment. All right, so I'm extremely pumped up about this setup. Now it is similar to what's going on outside. I do have the Elto Stealth receiver here. It is receiving on channel 19, but I got audio out of it and into here and both the receiver and the speaker has to be plugged in. Now here's the deal. If this speaker were to, for some reason, not work anymore because of what I'm doing here today, um, not a big deal because I do have this room very well covered with those two speakers and there won't be a problem and I can verify that with performing in this venue several times before. 
Well, here's what is absolutely exciting. We have featured today the EcoFlow River Max. Now, rather than get into all of the details of the EcoFlow River Max, the most important thing here today that I'm here to find out is how long will it power this 1,000 watt K8.2 and the Alto Stealth receiver and the speaker is turned up to unity gain. So it is on at the moment, right? Because that is determined by the fact that the lights are on, the uh, RF signal light is going, and also the audio light is going. And plus we have the indicator light on the front. If the EcoFlow can't hang or it just runs out of battery juice, then hey, this is just a remote speaker, no big deal. The unit will black out, but not turn off after a time. Here it is with the uh, following information. So it looks like I have uh, 48 to 53, so it's fluctuating hours of use. I'm charged at 98% at the moment. And also there's no input because the unit is not plugged into the wall or any other charging option, but it is putting out about 10 to 12 watts at the moment. And that's just because the speaker in the Alto Stealth is just merely on. So here we go. only speaker that's turned on so now it looks like I got more like 19 or 18 hours 98% charged no input and we have now 32 watts being used I'm excited to find out how long will this last and I'm just gonna leave this on throughout the evening to see what happens so as for the lighting with this setup today I'm electing to use the uh, D5 XLR pack transmitter and also the D5 XLR pack receivers right so pretty good distance and also that transmitter is able to talk to things like my freedom sticks and any wireless uplighting around the room. So now that I've verified everything is working, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put all of this lighting on the color that the bride actually asked me for, which was white. Now it is daytime and it really doesn't matter for that color in here, but a contract is a contract. So and just so you guys are aware, I do have this set up with some Dalton colors. So we're on uh, blue right here, orange. Here's cyan, red, green, purple, yellow, and white. So here's the deal with these kentons. I'm gonna unplug them because I don't want one, noise. Two, I don't want these flashing on the backs of any of the bridal party standing up here while the ceremony is going on. And I definitely don't need any dots flashing in the faces of the people sitting here. Simply unplug these, and then you'll hear the uh, fan noise go away. So that's one. And I'm gonna put this over here so it doesn't fall over or something like that. And for these, I'm just gonna simply turn them off so to preserve the batteries here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Here we go, we turn this off. And when you do that, the lights are just gonna do what their last command was, but I'm gonna go ahead now and unplug these. So here it is, no noise, no distractions, totally professional, and there we go. Cable runs do matter. There's gonna be a lot of attention up here and it's easy to spot something out of place. So that's why I think it's a big deal at weddings to really take the time to do some cable management. And as you can see on the left side, you mostly just see the pole, the light and the speaker. And over here, um, to me, it obviously stands out that that cable is there. Now there will be a bridal party with the potential to stand in front of these speakers. So it may not be a big deal, but just because it's associated with my setup, I'm gonna grab two pieces of Velcro and really fix that cable. This is the overall setup. And this is the room for the ceremony configuration. And as you can see, it's pretty big. And this is why I chose to do a remote speaker setup in the corner right there. So the highlighted feature for this video is the EcoFlow River Max. And I'm excited to know how long does that last today plugged in. Now, even though you don't see any lights on it, it is in fact on because that's indicated by my QSC plugged in right here. And also the Alto Stealth receiver emit light right there so i do know it's on it's just in standby if it's really a problem if it's really 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 that serious honestly i could just plug that in right there so i'm good either way but this whole setup is powered by the ecoflow river max as far as microphones go today ceremony will be ran with a lapel microphone so that'll be uh right there in the middle for reception I would just simply turn that off, put that away, and then sync my handheld microphone to that receiver.
All right, party people, so the ceremony went off without a hitch, and what I'm going to do now is verify the status of the EcoFlow River Max. Again, I do have a 1,000 watt QSC K8.2, and it is turned up to unity gain, which means it is on normal volume how I would use it for cocktail hour, dancing, or any other way that I would normally use that speaker, right? So I'm going to take you guys down on the other end. We're going to look at where it's at power-wise, and how much approximate time we have before the EcoFlow runs out. Let's get it. Whenever the EcoFlow River Max is not really having no draw, the hours of use time left will adjust accordingly to the actual pull on the uh, power. How much the amp is using on the speaker is affecting that. The speaker is turned off, and as I turn on the display here, you can clearly see that it's representing that I have about 38 to 46 hours of use time left it is having 83 percent charge left there is no draw on the input because it's not plugged in so there's no voltage coming in the unit but there is about 11 or 12 uh, volts coming out of the unit and again that's really due to the speaker and the uh, alto stealth receiver drawing a little bit of power and we became more like a family than just best friends Casey and I were on two totally different wavelengths in high school. I was way more worried about sports and she was way more worried about classes. All right, party people, it was live, it was lit. And uh, so we're at the end of the night and it's approximately 11.08 now. So we're gonna go down there and check to see how the battery's doing. I'm gonna put some music on to run it through the system cause I just stopped for the grand exit, but we're gonna put the music up just so you can see in real time where the charge is. So let's go check it out. And there it is, party people. The EcoFlow was a champion today. I'm really excited about it.